वेलकम टू चार्ट ट्रेडर्स टुडे यू विल लर्न मैकडी इंडिकेटर हाउ टू ट्रेड यूजिंग मैकडी इंडिकेटर एंड एट द लास्ट वी विल एनालाइज द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ मैकडी इंडिकेटर और एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द मैकडी इंडिकेटर सो व्हाट इज मैकडी इंडिकेटर इट इज अ मूविंग एवरेज कन्वर्जेंस एंड डाइवर्जेंस दैट इज अ डेवलप बाय गिराज एप्पल मैकडी इज ऑल अबाउट कन्वर्जेंस एंड डाइवर्जेंस ऑफ द टू मूविंग एवरेज सो व्हाट इज कन्वर्जेंस कन्वर्जेंस ऑकर्स वेन टू मूविंग एवरेज मूव टूवर्ड्स द ईच अदर्स and divergence occurs when two moving average move away from each other okay so basically the macd indicator uses three parameter of that is a 12 day ema 26 day ema and 9 day ema so the macd line that is a difference between your 12 day ema and the 26 ema while the signal line is a 9 day ema so macd indicator that is a black line and the signal line that is a red line so 9 day moving average is a red line and the black line that is your macd line now how to trade using macd indicator so sentiment is bullish when the macd line crosses the 9 day ema okay so whenever this happen trader have to look for buying opportunity and the sentiment is bearish when the macd indicator crosses below the 9 day ema Okay, so 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 trader have to look for bear selling a stock. So I have just opened the my zero day account in zero day account. Ah, uh, just go to studies and write down MACD. So here we have three parameter. One is fast MA that is a twelve day. Second is slow MA that is a twenty six. And MACD line that is a represented by black line, which is a difference between twelve and twenty six EMA. And signal line that is a nine day. Am okay, so when you add, it look like this. We have a two line, okay, that oscillate between minus hundred to hundred. The value is not fixed, okay. So how to trade when this black line crosses the red line? That is a signal line. You have to look for buy opportunity, okay. And whenever black line closes below the red line. Process below the red line, then you have to look for sell. Okay, so first buying opportunity here, selling opportunity here, buying opportunity here, selling opportunity here, then here consolidation, buying opportunity, selling opportunity, buying opportunity. Okay, so there are so many signals are generated. Okay, if you look for daily basis, uh, five hour basis. Okay, so this is the best opportunity to buy. This also, then sell. Okay, so whenever we have a moving average crossover, that is a signal line and MACD line, we have to buy and sell according to our condition that we have discussed. But normally, there are so many fake signals also. See here, consolidated. So when they are far away from each other and they are crossing. Each other and the both lines below the zero line, then you have to buy. This is the best point to buy. Okay, according to MACD, and this is also okay crossover. Okay, after that we have some consolidation. Okay, this is selling point. This is also selling point. Okay, so we can take entry with the help of MACD and. Uh, signal line crossover and we can exit with the help of MACD and signal line crossover. We will see one more on Axis Bank. Okay, so when we are, they are crossing each other, we will buy. Okay, here we will sell. Then here we will buy. Here we will sell. Okay, even we can look for fifteen minute also. It can work on any time frame. Okay, but you have to filter out some signals because it generate the fake signal also sometimes because due to consolidations. Okay, here so many times crossover. Here also so many times crossover two or three times. So these all are entry point and exit point here. Consolidated consolidation sell. So you have to enter with stick stop loss and stick. Target. Okay, so normally we can keep cross uh, entry point when the MACD line 
crosses your signal line that is the entry exit point is when MACD line uh, down, down close the uh, cross down the signal line okay again this is the selling point also okay so one is profit booking second is you can sell here also okay so now in order to check the performance of MACD indicator okay I am going to apply MACD ind indicator on nifty future so I have added nifty future 5 minute buy okay one lot okay now what is the entry point that is a MACD that is a default parameter 12 26 and 9 crosses above the MACD signal okay what is my stop loss 0.5 target 1 okay 9 am okay that is a default candlestick and MIS 7 backtest so it is going to execute starting from 20 Feb up to 11 May okay so total 98 signals are generated out of 98 40 wins 54 losses so around 43 percent accuracy okay then after removing the bro brokerage the profit is just 18,000 okay uh, in an account once in a while we have a minus around minus uh, 14,000 or 15,000 or approximate okay and uh, maximum gain per uh, trade that is a 8511 and maximum loss is minus 4278 now you can see even the transaction history here okay so TP means target achieved stop loss trigger the EN means entry point so on a 4th March around 1135 so entry that is a buy price 11,313 and sell this is a stop loss trigger so sell at 11,257 so that is my uh, stop loss target because my stop loss is 0 0.5 and target is 1 percentile now here the accuracy of the MACD indicator is around uh, four, uh, you can say around 40 percent okay so now even the here we have just applied entry based on MACD indicator not exit so I am just going to apply exit condition also that is a MACD okay crosses below the signal line okay same target stop loss now what is the profit and see uh, target we will see so around 19,000 profit is and uh, we have if we are just going to calculate that profit is 1,000 only okay now I am just going to change this target from uh, stop loss from 0.5 to 0.2 okay so the target uh, profit is very less even we are going to uh, create a if you are going to remove the brokerage then the loss is around 17,000 okay so MACD so based on current situation it will not work but if we increase the time frame just we will check 10 minutes okay what happened I don't know okay so profit is 38,000 okay so on on a longer duration it might be work well because momentum crossover will occur so here 53 signals only 17 wins 36 loses but the uh, winning ratio is 1 gm 5 okay so uh, 17 wins uh, so removed uh, 36 losses but the ratio is 1 gm 5 strict stop loss 0.2 target is 1 percentile okay so for this even we can just check what is the stop loss if I am going to keep 0.5 then what is the result okay 50,000 so good and uh, around we will uh, we have a 42,000 profit okay so 50 percent accuracy 24 29 okay so but the profit uh, profit is 1 gem 2 so uh, other parameter just transaction details you can see different parameter like maximum gain per trade maximum loss per trade and the graph shows that in the last three months, once in a while, my account can in, in a loss of minus 4000. After that, we have a profit only. Okay, so that's all about MACD indicator. I have already tested indicator like RSI, Bollinger Band, Super Trend, and also per calculate the accuracy and the evaluate the performance of those indicators on a Nifty future. So 
just watch out those video the link is given below in the description box even i have made a different trading setup in which i have combined two or three indicator in order to buy because here we have entry point only based on macd exit that is based on only macd so i have created so many trading setup i have already tested those trading setup okay so the i have created one uh, video series just watch out the, that series the link is given below in the description box in which i have tested evaluated the performance of different trading setup okay hope you like subscribe to my channel like video share with others thank you